Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and I'm your guide for everything Chinese medicine. And I set it all up so us Westerners can figure it out. And I have something in my hand today. This is a book. Yes, I read. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, this is called uh, Dragon Rises, Red Bird Flies. It is a book about uh, basically psychosomatic conditions, psychology within the realm of Chinese medicine, and how a Chinese medical practitioner, such as myself, would go about treating things. And I'm going to talk to you something that is a little bit in here called da -da 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 -da, uh, Rigid Energy Transformations, all otherwise known as Muscular Emotional Tension. This is particularly important because I'm a man. Male. And here in the States, at the very least, uh, we're not supposed to show emotions. Any emotion whatsoever. You do not laugh, you do not cry, you do not yell, uh, you don't get sad, you don't get angry, you don't get happy. Nothing. You are the same every single day. Because it is completely illogical in order to show emotion. People know, people that you care about know that they love, know that you love them, and the way that you express that is by providing them things. Yeah, that's boring. So, uh, let's talk about um, why this is important and why repressing emotions is a super bad idea. Well, talk about it. So, I'm willing to bet that at least one of you out there watching this uh, had kind of a rough childhood. You got yelled at for something that you didn't do, or uh, somebody made fun of you and you lost your temper and you socked them, or you called them a name when they were calling you a bunch of names and telling you that you should never speak again for any reason and to go sit in a corner and uh, go play with the worms and whatnot, right? Okay? And you, you defended yourself. And then teacher comes over, mommy and daddy come over, etc., 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 and they say, don't ever do that again, okay? If somebody's being mean to you, you just sit there and you let them be mean to you. No. I'm not going to do that. That's what a sane person does. Now, a belligerent person goes over and beats the living crap out of them, puts them within an inch of their life, and that's not okay. I want to make sure you understand that. What is also not okay is to just take it. Okay? You need to defend yourself. It's okay to defend yourself. It is okay to stand up for yourself, especially when you're being bullied. And I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you are three or 3,000, okay? Stand up for yourself, okay? Now, if you just sit and repress it, just push it down and forget, put it in a little box and put it in a corner and forget that you even had it, you're gonna develop other problems because of one very special organ in your body. It's called the liver and its little buddy, the gallbladder. Now, I'm not talking about this thing right here that breaks down alcohol and uh, gets rid of dead red blood cells and uh, makes bile and gets rid of poison and all of that stuff. Well, I am, but not exactly, okay? I'm talking about uh, the, the functions of what we call the Chinese liver. Uh, this liver stores blood and uh, also helps with deciding what gets kept for a long period of time, okay? Uh, in a lot of ways, this is memory. This is past memory. This is uh, what you inherit from the people who have come before you. Uh, Great-grandfather, uh, your dad, your mom, uh, your great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmother, uh, that one weird person that everybody says wasn't part of your family, actually was, go ahead and do some genealogy on that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of that comes in through the liver, okay? So you've got a lot of past in there. Some of it gets, you know, tossed out. The rest gets incorporated into you, okay? 
Uh, a lot of people would consider this epigenetics. I'm a little iffy on that. Uh, and genetic memory. A little iffy. So, when you repress stuff, it gets clogged in here. Now, you always know a person who has repressed a lot of stuff because they are always, always tense. I'm not talking like tense. I'm talking like their body is like a rock, okay? Yes, they exercise, but it shouldn't be that damn hard, okay? This person, is you like go to work on them, and their shoulders are like stone. And they don't exercise that much. Not enough to make them like stone. Okay? That person is repressing emotions. Specifically, they're repressing anger. So what happens is because the liver, which is the organ in charge of anger, same thing with gallbladder, uh, is holding on to all of this anger, it needs to find places to put it. Now, here's the interesting part. The liver, the tissue associated with the liver is the tendons and the ligaments, okay? The stuff that can crosses over your joints, okay? Ooh. Talk about repressed. So, when those are tense, because the tendon that is here connects to something up here, past another joint, that is one entire cell, okay? So if this section is tense, this section is tense, and this section is tense, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It follows along the whole thing. The amount of tension can vary, but if it's tense to the max, then it's not going to be very mobile. Okay. And the person's going to have uh, reduced range of motion. Uh, they're also going to be very, very sore all the time because of the way muscles work. They work, let me uh, see if I can show you, work like this. Okay. This is a flaccid muscle. This is a tight muscle. Okay. See that? Loose, tight. Okay. That's how muscles work. They can only tighten. They cannot function by being loose. But if they're already tight, then they're already engaged, and you actually lose strength. Okay? It's also why a tense person tends not to be very physically strong, because they don't have the power, and I'm speaking physics here, they do not have the power to do the work. Those are actual physics terms. Feel free to look them up. You have access to Google. Don't whine. Okay? So, when you are always tense, you weaken yourself, and by extension, everyone around you. So, one of the best things that you can do in order to mitigate that is to do very low impact exercise. Uh, yoga, Tai Chi, Qigong, um, Pilates, uh, go for a walk, okay? It'll help out a lot. It'll help to work through some of that stuff and get rid of some of that repression. However, unless you deal with the trauma that caused the repression in the first place, it's going to come right back. Okay? You can put whatever CBD oil on it you want. You can use whatever herbal medication you want. You can use all the cortisone cream on the planet. You ain't going to get any better. Okay? If you have exhausted all physical possibilities, then the issue is emotional. Your emotions have a great deal of impact on your body. Okay? You need to experience them, and you need to use them constructively. Now, back to the original part of this. Somebody's picking on you. Okay? Uh, you know, they're doing stuff. That does not mean you go home, get a weapon, and take care of it. Okay? What it means is you tell the person, you say, look, I do not appreciate being talked to that way. I don't like what you're doing. Okay? Now, since you are in my place, I want you to leave. And if they get huffy about it, you've got a phone, call for help, say, I do not want this person here. I believe they are dangerous. 
there's going to be a score amount. Okay? If you own a business, you can refuse business to that individual. If you are in some sort of gathering, leave. Because if the person hosting that gathering or group is going to allow that kind of behavior, and then you're not allowed to defend yourself, you don't need to be part of that group. Okay? That is not okay. I don't care what side of the political spectrum that individual is on. I do not care about what credo or ethnicity or anything else is with that person. It is not okay to attack somebody. It is also perfectly acceptable for you to defend yourself as long as that defense does not escalate that situation to further violence. Okay? There are peaceful ways to do everything. Okay, so uh, that's about all I have for you uh, regarding uh, repression of emotions. Why uh, people that repress emotions are always tense. So uh, if uh, you would like uh, further reading on this, I do advise picking up this book. It is uh, worded for someone who is college-level uh, college reading, maybe graduate-level reading. Uh, if you don't, so if you don't mind a little bit of heavy English, Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, there's also plenty of other resources. Uh, feel free to check out uh, online. Uh, people are there to help if you need it. Okay. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that uh, big red subscribe button down below here somewhere. Uh, maybe hit the bell too. Leave a like, leave a comment, and if you want to contact me directly, feel free to visit my website at vigintmed.com. That stands for Vigorally Integrated Medicine.com. You can go ahead and shoot me an email, and we'll talk to you then. Bye, guys.